Hello everybody and today I am going to show you my December haul which will include my Christmas presents. Just got a few things but uh, very good a few things. So I'll be starting off with my coloring supplies and books in no particular order and I'm going to start off with two sets of pencils that I got for Christmas. I got the Derwent Graphitint pencils. They are here. They are beautiful pencils. I just love Derwent pencils. They are so pretty. So these are the water-soluble graphite pencils. They're all a little bit uh, muted and grayish tones for doing um, natural colors, really. Like you see on the front here, buildings and and um, sky and plant life. So I've been wanting those for quite some time. And then this is really special. I got the 76 set of luminance pencils. They are just beautiful and they smell beautiful. The whole box is filled with foam. The pencils are in little individual little spaces for them. It'll be, it, it feels a bit of a shame to take them out of this since it's so beautiful, but it's going to have to go into a pencil case. Otherwise, I don't really use them. Use pencil. I find it hard to use pencils if they're not in a pencil case. But these are just absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Sorry, my vo voice is kind of going in and out on me today. So this was given to me by my wonderful, wonderful son. And uh, I was just over the moon <laughs> when I got these, as you can imagine. Okay, and I have Coco Wyo's 100 flower patterns, and these are some big patterns. Some of them are on black backgrounds, some of them are on white backgrounds, and they're just, uh, does it say patterns? Yeah, because they are. They're, they're patterns. Now, the only thing with this book is, and I, re I, I returned, this is my second copy. I returned the first copy, and this one came exactly the same, is that at the back of the book, the pages are on the wrong side up to here and then you get a page that has both sides done and it's exactly the same as the first book that I got I sent it back and then I got the next one and it's exactly the same so I have a feeling it might be in the in the file that Coco Wild um, uploaded rather than actually being a print error so that's something that I, they'll have to look into. And I got another set of the Crayola Take Note as I am running out of some colors. And the, I use these regularly. There are, this is the biggest set of 24. I have Maria Trolla's latest book, Mandolin, which is uh, Moon Valley in English. I've just gotten tired of waiting for Amazon Canada to deliver the English versions when they come out, so I'm buying um, the original editions of both Maria Trolla and um, Hannah Carlson because I've just given up on on Amazon Canada they take forever to deliver this stuff so this is just a beautiful book I have to say though her last two books have too many girls in them like there's a girl on every single page in this book and not as many flowers I like it though it's not my favorite but I like it Oh, it smells so nice, too. 
And then there's a series of these books that my sister put me on to. This is an Amazon printed book. Um, it's a set of called Art Nouveau, and this one is Insect Designs. Look at that. Grasshoppers. So they're all kind of Art Nouveau style, and they're decorated with insects. Now there's other ones in the series. I wonder if it says back here. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you here. No, but I think they have they have flowers. Um, I can't remember. There's four of them all together. Then from Color Kick, I got their Dark Decora. Decora, I guess is how it's pronounced. This is an anime horror book. And this one isn't quite so gory as uh, the Coco Wayo horror books. Yeah, this isn't this isn't really that scary at all. Look mild. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's right. There's duplicate pages in this. I forgot. Yeah. Forgot Color Kick did du duplicate pages. So there's that one. Windsor and Newton fixative. As I have been... Uh, this isn't a workable fixative. It's just a... It's just a regular one finished. It doesn't say, but um, I believe it would say workable on it if it was. So it's, that's a finished fixative. I'm wanting some of that and having a hard time getting it actually. And then I got some Eileen's True Snow. And you know what I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to get a piece of paper out so we could so we could try. So let's take a look at this. So it's really smooth. It looks like icing. So I believe what we can do with this is when you put it down you can kind of make it look like snow by giving it kind of a 3D effect to it. And it's a little bit shiny. It's not sparkly really. So you could go like this and give it kind of like icing types things to it. No, it's difficult for you to see the white on white. But let's see, does it does it shine? No, not really. I'll hold it up a little bit so you can see it better. So see what happens if that dries what it's like. It probably won't dry while we're doing this though. I'll just clean that off. Okay got an art therapy book. This one is Japan or Japan. And this one is a beautiful, oh, so I open up to a page full of dots. <laughs> this has got some gorgeous scenes in it, some illustrations, as, long as, as well as traditional Japanese patterns. This one is beautiful. This one's interesting because because it has an advertisement for uh, Stabilo markers on the back. So really nice book hardcover by Ashet Loisir. We've got a few French books here. So I got uh, fifty Coloriage Llama. And this is a book that opens up this way. It has a proper binding on it. It's not, it's not one of those block books. But it just has a bunch of pictures with llamas on it. And they're single-sided. And every now and then you get this, like, quote page, which I don't really understand. Pictures, most of the pictures are a little um, detailed, 
but I like llamas, so interesting book. Not quite what I thought it would be, but... All right, we might as well do this when we come to it. So, I got the... Now, what do they call this? The Shadow Black series. Now, this is not by um, a Ganzai. Uh, oh, I mean, it is Ganzai, but it's not by Kuritaki, so it's not Ganzai Tambi. It is Boku, Boku Undo, and it is the Shadow Black series. So let's open this up and take a look at what the colors look like. So these colors are all... Um, black with added color to them. Oh, again, I'm not ready into these. They look nice. So, we'll start with Shadow Pink. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Shadow Yellow. I oh, love that too. It's more of a kind of like a green. Beautiful. Oh, I just put my arm in the snow. Oh. Okay, so much for that. Okay, so now we're going to do shadow green. Well, that's dark. That's a rich, it's a rich green. Very jade-ish. And it's got, um, got a nice shine to it, that one. Now let's see if I can continue without putting my arm in this again. Okay, so now we're going to do shadow blue. Oh, now that is a beautiful color. Love it. So these are very autumn colors, and they're not as black as I thought they were going to be. Shadow purple. Mmm. Like plum or aubergine. And finally, we have shadow vermilion. Now this is going to be interesting. It doesn't look orange. It looks brown. Oh, it's definitely a red orange. Lovely. Gorgeous colors. Beautiful. Really happy with that purchase. Okay, so put that to the side. And well, I'm going to keep this open so I don't forget that they're still wet. Okay, so now we're back to some books. This is a new Creative Haven book that just came out by Marty Noble, Gothic Fantasy. And this is gorgeous. I just love this. Strange time of year for it to come out, though, don't you think? You'd think this would come out in the fall rather than after, like at Christmas time. So yeah, I really like that one. Look a while, a few new books, Fairyland. 
one is a lot like Dreamland and Floating Island. Some of the pictures are on black background. Some of them are on white. Lots of, uh, these are lots of like fairy or gnome houses. Lots of mushrooms in here. I love that one. The only thing that uh, bothers me with, with Coco Wild books is that their pictures take up the whole page and then they're usually kind of like cut off. Let me see if I can find another one. See? Look, like the roof has been cut off rather than shrinking it down. That, that happens in all their books. See, look, just, just the point be nice if they put frames around them then at least it would look like it it would look better if they were going to do that and then another Coco Wild one got cute to doodles oh that's gorgeous someone I love was born today oh isn't that cute Yeah, that's adorable. And there's a lot of pages. Thick. We have fruity chibis. Ah, see now this one's framed. And why can't they do this with all of their books? These are adorable. Oh no, this is color kick. What am I saying? <laughs> Thought I was th talking about Coco Y over a minute there. Uh, I needed a wave stencil, so I got this one here. It's got three different waves on it. It's got these ones going like that, then it's got the individual waves, and then it's got these big ones with the big waves on them. Alexandra Franzis, she uh, illustrated the cute and the cute and spooky book, I believe it was called for, um, and she did a couple of those cute and something books for Jade Summer. She's out on her own now, so she's got two, uh, well, she's got a new book out now, but I got her first two books, so Amazing Patterns. And these are really quite interesting. She's following, uh, Jade Summer's lead by putting the name of the book on the back of the page. And then her other one has floral mandalas. These are really nice. Really like this. Oh, that one's grayscale. So is that one. Oh, okay, all the ones at the front are. Nice. wanting to get one of these for a long time and this is a paper palette pad so let's open it up there we go so this is a 9 by 12 pad and what you do is and you can use it with any kind of paint. It says on here, watercolor, gouache, acrylic, oils. And I believe you take the cover off. And then what you've got is you've got a pad of paper that you can... No, wait a minute. Your, your thumb is supposed to go the other way around, isn't it? Do they show? You're not supposed to have your thumb on the page. You're supposed to have your thumb... No, that's right. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but then this is made of some sort of um, glossy, like plastic coated paper. And you can just use this as your palette. And if you're into mixed media and stuff, when, you're fin when you've finished using a palette and this is all covered up, you could save that piece of paper to use in your, in your 
journals and stuff. But then when it gets used up, you just rip the page off and then you've got a new fresh one to use. It's just kind of a handy thing to have as a palette. Now along with everybody else in the coloring community, I got my Black Widow Dragon pencils. Haven't really tried them out or anything yet, but oh man, the colors are just beautiful. They're so bright and vivid. These are definitely like basic, like well, not basic, but like the uh, the primary, the primary secondary and tertiary colors here they're just just bright oh of course that that's like all colors you know what i'm trying to say don't you <laughs> but these have been done in the same way as the uh monarchs are and the problem with that is i love that i love the tipped ends in here but it should have the number and the then the name of the color should go around here instead they've got the the name of the color starts like halfway up the pencil, so you're going to sharpen it off way before you're done. This one's called Dragon Breath. How appropriate. It'll be interesting to see when they finally get around to making a, a um, complete set what they do. So some more cocoa Wyo books because I am officially a Coco Wyo collector. I don't know if I'm ever going to color in the books at this point. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> but I love this art. I can't tell you how much I love it. I think maybe... Oh, one of my hashtags for next year that I'm going to be hosting is um, uh, Cuckoo for Coco Wyo. And we're going to color Coco Wyo all year. Beautiful. I love this one. Whimsical World. Also have... Decora. Whoa, what has happened to my color? Everything has gone blue. Why is that? What happened? I don't know if it's just because it's dull outside. It's kind of glaring, isn't it, too? Hmm. So, anyways, Decora is a style where you accessorize everything up to the hoo-ha. <laughs> they use band-aids as accessories and all th sorts of things on their face and in their hair and ribbons and bows and just everything you could think of. And then I finally got Floating Island. And this one is just beautiful as I think everyone knows. So this is done on black backgrounds. Love that. A lot of these kind of remind me of Kirby Rosanna's, but a little simpler. Love it, love it. That's probably one of my favorite books by them. Okay. So next, we've got some more paint. And this is actually by Gansey Tambi. And these are the opal colors. So these are whites, which have a bit of color to them. So these aren't going to show up too well. We'll see what happens. First one is opal pink. Oh, I can just see the pink. 
no these aren't going to show up so I can't I can't show them to you I can see it myself I can just barely see the pink but that is not that is not going to show up on screen so I'm just going to try one more for my own benefit let's go with opal blue there I can see the blue turning up oh yeah and there's the bit of blue so you can definitely see it yeah but this isn't going to be any good to do on camera that's not going to show up but the colors that they have are opal pink opal copper opal gold opal green opal blue and opal violet there to dry keep this out because I got one more I kind of went crazy and got myself all the all the Ganzai that I didn't have so this is does it have a year on it I can't remember if it came out in 21 or 22 I mean 20 is it dated no okay so these are the 12 new colors that came out of Ganzai Tambi. You can tell they look like that. And the colors that we have are, you know what? I'm not going to test these. I think what I'll do is I'll make a video of swatching the the new Ganzai. So the colors that we have are, let's see, oh they don't put them in order. Okay so we've got Cherry Blossom Pink, Horizon Blue, Lime Green, Natural Beige, Indian Red, Gray, no that's not gray, 71. Indian red and just gray, lilac, cobalt blue, greenish yellow, rose beige, maroon, and blue gray deep. So I think these came out in 2020 or they came out at the beginning of 2021. Somewhere around there. But those are the new colors. Okay, I printed out uh, Lindsay Girls Around the World, Hannah, uh, Hannah Lynn's new book. I'm not going to show that off because everybody has seen has seen flips of that but I got it along with everybody else. I always get Hannah's books in PDF form. A lot of stuff today. And then I got a box full of Pentel Dual Hybrid Metallics in gold. So there are uh, 12 in here. And the price for 12 golds was cheaper than buying a set of eight Sparkle Pops or, or eight, um, eight uh, dual hybrid metallics. So you can get a box of any color that you want. And then I got some stencil brushes because I wanted to... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this off. I don't have scissors right here. Oh, there we go. Got a set of stencil brushes because I wanted to try them out with, um, oh, there's hairs over everything. Cat hair, cat hair. Uh, I want to try this out with uh, gel crayons and gelatos and that kind of stuff to see how they work using it dry. So there's a uh, 
a few different sizes in there. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five in there. They're all smallish ones, but they're different sizes. I think this is the last supply. But with my Upcrate box, I got four blow pens, uh, a sponge dauber, a slice knife, which is a great tool to have, and three bottles of acrylic paint called Studio Las. I don't know how to pronounce that word, Lasco. So yeah, got um, Bluff Titanium, Neutral Gray Middle, and Oxide Black. So that was the new supplies I got from my art box. I think we just have some books left. Deborah Muller's Peppermint Kisses and Gingerbread Wishes. Arwen's Dolls Happy Holidays. I love this one. Demita Victoria Jolly Winter. I won't show you too much in here. This is all grayscaled. I've done a page in there already. Christmas Mandalas by Coco Wayo. These are a bit intricate. Well, quite a bit intricate actually, which is nice. Arwen Dahl's Seasons Greetings. This is this year's Christmas book. The one I showed you was last year's. Such and Such Deva Mosaic Art Christmas. I haven't done anything in this one yet. January. Oh, that one's stuck. Won't show you inside this because everybody's seen it. Coloring Heaven's Christmas Special. And we're coming down to the end. Oh my goodness, what happened? I had a big fall. Okay, so. Coco Wild's first mushroom book. I got book two and I loved it so much I had to get book one and I think I like this one better. I got a few Christmas Creative Haven books. Merry Christmas designs. Didn't get to work in this this year but I'm glad to have it. And I got Marjorie Sarnat's Christmas Cats. Had to get this one had to get this one second hand, but it is in perfect condition. This this one's out of print. Then I got a million llamas. I didn't have this one in cute animals. Oh I did get cute animals, but I don't have it here to show you. Coco Wayo's coloring cute stuff. This one's adorable. Now this was on sale. Creative Haven Stylish Southwestern Designs by Jessica Mazurkowitz. And Olga Goloveshkina's Mounts 2. This one was on sale, so I thought I would get it. Her books never go on sale. And that's it. 
those are all my coloring related supplies and since we've gone on for so long I'm going to stop there and I will do a second video with my non with my other craft supplies that not craft but hobby related items thank you so much for watching this and allowing me to share with you I hope you found some fun stuff and uh I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.